everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be another review. If you have watched my very first video I have posted on my YouTube channel, you will know the brand Macasa Beauty. I reviewed all of their brushes in that video, but now they have come out with 11 new brushes and I'm going to be reviewing them for you today. And I did buy all the new ones. So this first one here is the E110 eyeliner brush. This next one is the E200 angled shadow brush. The next one is the E320 tapered blending brush. This one is the E240 short eyeshader brush. This is the E330 larger blending brush. This is the F300 foundation brush. This is the F120 tapered contour brush. This one here is interesting. This is the L100 retractable lip brush. This is the E400 double ended eyebrow brush. Has a little spoolie at the end. This is the F110 angled blush brush. And this last one is a new Techni brush. This is the Techni 01 oval brush. Okay, so those are all of the brushes. If you would like to see how I used all these brushes to create this fun, colourful look, then please keep on watching. Alright, let's get started. Because there are so many eye brushes, I'm not too sure what look I'm going to be doing today. I feel like I want to do something that's colourful, that's not so natural, so I could be using all of the eye brushes to see how they work. There's definitely an eyeshadow that I haven't used yet that's not very natural, so... I think I'll use that today. Alright, firstly I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to be using the new Techni 01 brush. Just to set that primer, I'm going into the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm going to be taking this colour here called Coconut Cream. I'm just going to be taking that shadow on the E320 Tapered Blending Brush. In the same palette, I'm going to be taking this colour here called Mousse. And I'm going to be taking that shadow on the E200 Angled Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. Okay, the brush is good. I just don't understand why it's angled. Now I'm going to be using this colour here called Pudding. And I'm going to be taking that shadow on the E330 Large Blending Brush. I'm going to be using Makeup Geek's Foiled Eyeshadow in Pegasus. Now I wanted to use this shadow because blue is my favourite colour. This sort of blue right here is my favourite colour. And because it is a foiled eyeshadow, I am going to be taking it on the E240 Short Eyeshader Brush. I'm just placing that on my lid. Below the other shadows we placed before. I'm just taking the E330 larger blending brush again, going into pudding and just blending colours together. I just needed a darker crease colour because the other one was a little too warm. Now I'm going to be taking the colour Licorice with the E200 angled eyeshadow brush again. Just kind of put that on the outer corner. and blend all these colours together. I'm just taking the large blending brush again. Alright, I did take a makeup wipe and clean up the mess around my eyes and I have put tape along my eyes because now it's time for eyeliner. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Eye Studio Black is Black Gel Liner. And I'm going to be taking that on the E110 eyeliner brush. I never use an eyeliner brush like this with the tip. I usually use an angled eyeliner brush. So let's see how this one goes. Alright, 
right, that wasn't that bad. I actually quite like it. All right, it was a bit different, but it actually looks like a perfect wing. And it's not so thick like how I usually do it, which is what I've been trying to work on. I've been trying to work on making it smaller and thinner. All right, I'm gonna do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, now onto the face. Firstly, I'm gonna be placing the Benefit Professional Face Primer around my nose area. And to prime the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Stila One Step Correct Primer. To colour correct, I'm going to be using the Stila Correct and Perfect palette. As always, I use the peach and the green shade. And none of the new Mikasa Beauty brushes are really good for colour correcting. I am just going to be using two of their old ones, which are the same brush. The E220 Concealer Brushes. Just taking the peach under my eyes. I am just going to use a little bit of the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the orange colour. Just put a little bit under my eyes with the peach. I definitely want those dark circles away. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And to put that on, I'm going to be using the F300 Foundation Brush. I am just going to blend it out with the Lemon Drop Beauty Sponge from Mikasa Beauty. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. To blend that out, I'm going to use the Techni 01 brush again. For underneath my eyes, I'm going to be mixing the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And I've been absolutely dying to try this brush. I'm going to be using the F120 Tapered Contour Brush. I'm also just going to set around my nose with this brush. There really isn't a big powder brush in the new set, so I'm just going to use the old one, the F100 Powder Brush, to set the rest of my face. Alright, I don't want to use a lot of blush, so I'm just going to be taking the Physician's Formula Natural Pearl Blush, and I'm going to be using that on the F110 Angled Blush Brush. For bronzing and contouring, I'm going to be going into the Australis A Contour Kit. I'm going to be taking the middle shade up here on the same angled blush brush. I probably wouldn't recommend the angled brush. It's just shedding on my face when I'm putting the product on. Like, it worked well. It was a good brush. It just kept shedding. So, I wouldn't recommend getting it right now until they fix that problem. This E200 angled eyeshadow brush would probably be good for nose contouring. So, I'm just going to wipe some of the product that I've already used onto a tissue. So, I can try that out. I'm just taking that same Australis powder. I'm going to take that same powder and just put it underneath my bottom lip. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be taking a mix of pudding and licorice, just on the E330 blending brush. For highlighter, I'm going to be using Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Ice Cold. I'm just going to take that on the F120 brush that I use for powder.
For filling in my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette. I'm just going to be taking this colour here, and I'm just going to be using the E400 Double Ended Eyebrow Brush. To set my brows in place, I'm going to be using the Benefit Gimme Brow. Well, while that little mistake there dries, I'm just going to be using the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner and put that in my waterline. Alright, now for mascara, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Lash Primer. Then over top of that, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Now I'm just going to take a Q-tip and just fix up this. I'm just going to take a bit of coconut cream again on the E320 tapered blending brush. Put that on my brow bone. And I am just going to take a bit of the Jeffree Star highlighter in Ice Cold on that same brush. Stick it on my inner corner. Alright, to line my lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. And for lips, I'm going to try the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Nude. And I'm just going to take that on the L100 Retractable Lip Brush. I don't like this color on myself so I might use a bit of the Gerard Cosmetics uh, lip gloss in buttercream all right so this is the finished look it's a sort of very colorful look I definitely wouldn't call this natural I just thought I'd try something a little bit different that I normally wouldn't wear out. I'm definitely not going to wear this out, but I just wanted to try some colour. Okay, now on to the review. The first brush I used was the Techni 01 brush. It was actually pretty good, but it's just a bit smaller than this one. Just like the other over brushes, they're very soft and they blend out really easily. The E320 tapered blending brush. It was very good. It was kind of like the E230 eyeshader brush that they have in their old set. It's just a bit bigger. It pretty much does the same thing, it's just bigger, it's fluffier. The E200 Angled Eyeshadow Brush. I don't know about this one. Like I read the reviews and everyone said it was really good for putting shadows in your crease because it's angled. And I tried it and yeah, it was good for putting in the crease but it's just like any normal shaped blending brush. I think it was really good for putting shadow on the outer corner because it puts the shadow directly in the outer corner, like exactly where you want it. The E330 Large Blending Brush I actually quite liked. You guys would already know I do like the E300 Blending Brush from Mikasa Beauty. I use this one a lot. They've created a better version of this brush because it's a bit bigger, a bit fluffier. But if you want a more precise application, use the E300. The E240 Short Eyeshader Brush. It's good. I liked it. It worked really well for picking up uh, difficult eyeshadows like foiled eyeshadows. Or even the Colourpop eyeshadows, I think it would work with that as well, instead of using your finger. I just wish it was a little bit bigger because it's so small. You know what, let me just clean this brush off a bit. It's a little too blue. <laughs> yeah, so the brush is good. It would just be better if it was a bit bigger because it only focused on a small area of the eye. It wouldn't really go on my lash line very well. So if this was a bit larger, it would be better. Alright, the E110 Eyeliner Brush. This brush was interesting because usually for eyeliner I use brushes like these, the angled eyeliner brushes. This one is the E100 angle brush. So I usually like using these ones because it's very easy to use, but these ones I was a bit worried about because it's just, 
it's a very thin little brush and I thought I wasn't going to get the shape I wanted. I thought it was just going to be messy. It actually turned out really well and it gave me that thin line I've been wanting because with the other brushes I've been making really thick wings and I really don't want thick wings all the time. I would prefer thinner wings and with maybe just a little flick but nothing too intense and this brush gave me what I wanted. It gave me exactly that. The L100 Retractable Lip Brush. I actually quite like it. I thought it was really good. It actually put my lipstick on very well and I really like the fact that it's retractable. It will be really handy when you're traveling. The E400 Double Ended Brow Brush. This is my first brush that's, that is double ended and has a spoolie at the end. I've been wanting this eyebrow brush with a spoolie at the end of it because it's really handy because you can just flip it. I thought it filled in my eyebrows really well. I'm really glad I bought this one. The F300 Foundation Brush. I actually do like it. I'm probably going to use this foundation brush on my clients other than the other one now. It just seemed softer, it seemed more comfortable, and it was very easy to apply the foundation to my face. The F110 Angled Blush Brush. I did not like this one. I like the idea of it. I like that it's angled, like it's another angled brush, which is good. The thing is, the brush was shedding when I was putting product on my face. And the hairs would just stick to my face and would not get off and it felt so uncomfortable. I was not happy at all. If you really want a good blush brush from Macasa Beauty, get the F111 because this one does not shed and it's good for blush and bronzer. Alright, lastly is the F120 Tapered Contour Brush. I've been wanting a brush like this because I've seen people use brushes like this for setting the under eyes or highlighter. I probably wouldn't use a brush like this for contour, but maybe I'll try that next time. I actually quite like this brush, it's so fluffy. It feels comfortable on your face and it can be used for multiple things. It can be used for blush, contouring, highlighting, setting your under eyes. It's probably one of my favourites. I'm really glad I purchased this one. My actual review is some of the brushes are, are great. Some of the brushes are similar to their other brushes but maybe just a bit bigger and maybe differently shaped. And some brushes are good but they need a bit of working on. Like with the shading on the angled blush brush and the size of the short eyeshader brush, those two could have a little bit of work on. But other than that, I actually do like these brushes. I'm glad I got them. I was really excited to be receiving them. So if any of you are interested in getting any of these Macasa Beauty brushes, I will leave their website in the description below. And I also have some exciting news. My coupon code with Macasa Beauty has changed a bit. The name is a bit different. Before it was Melanie Jabolt MUA15 but now it's Melanie Jabolt MUA25 because instead of getting 15% off your order, you will now get 25% off your order. So if you would like 25% off your order, then use my coupon code Melanie Jabolt MUA25. Alright everyone, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's review video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!